One bit, please. Is this really the time? Always. Cheers. And we'll get the cuffs out. Come on. Oh, Lucia, please don't mess with it. What does this do, anyway? Stop shaking it. You're gonna break it! But right now, we need to figure out who kidnapped me. Kidnapped you? Okay, I'll play. Who kidnapped you? I don't know. Well, what do they look like? I don't know. Look, 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 I'm fairly certain that my father's behind it. Your father kidnapped you? Well, no, not him personally. God never gets his own hands dirty, does he? Uh-huh. You don't believe me. Uh-huh. Sorry. This is just a little far-fetched, even for you. Right. OK, fine. I'll take you to the scene of the crime. Come on. Come on. It's just one personal day. I never asked for anything. You're too low maintenance, detective. People assume work is your only desire. Yeah, well, it's not. Yeah, what a jerk. Oh, because I'm hot and bothered. Someone got under your skin. <laughs> so what did she do to you? She ate my goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, detective. Fish caught my tongue. <laughs> Lucifer is always. Lucifer. Mm. It looks like someone could use a single malt cappuccino. Single malt latte. Lucifer. Can you come here? Yes. So I'm going to ask Grace. A follow-up? Why don't you take your new friend and escort her back to her trailer? The trailer? Are you suggesting... Who are you and what have you done with the detective? Put this on her. She looks cold. Can't pay that. Go home. You're tired. OK, fine. But only if I can borrow these. Well, I promise I'll bring them back. Please don't. Ella's working on cause of death. Well, he obviously drowned in this vat of semen. Pudding, Lucifer. Sure. I've heard it called that, too. It looks like they're having fun. You know, stupid fun. Since when do you like stupid fun? Hi. OK, we need a woman, so I'll go. But you, detective, socialize and flirt. Come on. Yeah, but for the investigation, I can sacrifice. Can't be that hard being frivolous and shallow. I'll just channel my inner Lucifer. What, you want to become a female version of me? OK. I'll gladly train you. Chloe does Lucifer? I wouldn't exactly word it that way. Get ready to go full me, detective. Ah, <laughs> footprints. Those are mine. Oh. Hey, Jerry, I think I found some footprints. What? No, those are mine. <laughs> Amateurs. How do we get stuck with? I did some research, and originally the show was much edgier hmm? about a guy dealing with his insecurities about his, um... Well, I, I really don't want to tell you. Oh, well, now I need to know. Dealing with his insecurities about his, um, micropenis. All right, so... Hold me close to tiny dong. So you're saying we're looking for a needle in a penis stack? See, this is why I didn't want to tell you. Anyhow, after it became a family show, the micropenis got removed. Did anyone even notice? Okay. <laughs> okay. Just go to town. Get them all out of your system. Well, I'd say that was rather impressive, wouldn't you? I exposed the fraud of a man and got us a lead. It's like the whole world is pointing towards, well, me today. <laughs> yes, Lucifer. Very impressive. Uh, now, I know that you need to get close to Mr. Dangerous Doug Libby, but since you don't have a warrant, you need to do so without blowing your cover, am I right? Maybe. Well, oh, that's going to be quite difficult, isn't it? Unless, of course, someone signed you up for the competition. This might actually help. Yes, I know. But wait, there's more. Now, since you're going in undercover, why not do it with a little panache? <laughs> nice try. I'm not putting that on. This is the longest you've ever gone without talking, ever. Is something on your mind? Please, I am not a shoe. Clearly, I'm a top hat, so come on, hand it over. Want it? It's gonna cost you. Oh, 
Well, name your price, urchin. Oh, I'm not talking fake money. Oh, wow. She slammed you. <laughs> oh, the Paris shows were glorious. Yes, worth the jet lag alone. How was your weekend? Uh, awesome. Great. Uh, Saturday, went camping with my daughter. And uh, Sunday, did a big Costco run. <laughs> There's like 300 hot dogs in my freezer. Oh, really? That is so interesting. Oh, dear. Look what you did to poor Giancarlo. Dead from boredom. Now, look, you're going to this top meat mixer to hunt down a killer, not to talk about your hunt for bulk food bargains. OK, sorry I'm not fancy schmancy enough for Giancarlo. OK, let's get the terminology straight. Not fancy schmancy, sophisticated. Oh, whatever. Yeah, they're shooting their ad campaign here on stage 69. <laughs> Should be just past the creepy flasher. That's nice. Oh, sure, I know you're not listening to me. Creepy flasher, stage 69. 69? What? Where? That detective! What? Well, you don't want to damage that perfect skin of yours now, do you? So, how should we get close to this dangerous dog? You do nothing. I'll handle this. I don't mean to backseat dig, but aren't you a bit far from the sundial? I've got it. Thanks. Did you happen to follow the victim to a winery? Sure. Drink anything while you were there? Wine. <sighs> now I do believe you believe me? Yes. yes. And there's Max talking to Isabel. She is so not good enough for him, really. <laughs> what did you just say? <clears throat> Max and Isabel, two of our suspects. Oh. He had motive, no alibi. And, oh, yeah, he confessed under interrogation. He's our guy. Well, then he must be working for the cinnamon. You're not going to drag me into whatever new weird drama this is. And could you please stop saying cinnamon? Oh, look at these. Please don't juggle the evidence, Lucifer. His uh, penis is so small. Boo! It's a medical condition, you monster. <laughs> <laughs> But can't stop, won't stop. This is much too fun, detective. No, no, no. Keep going. I want you to keep going. Copy that. Nice win, partner. Thank you very much. I'm just surprised you let me into the factory first. Oh, I figured it was your turn to get shot at. Ah. Oh. Lucifer? <laughs> Hello, detective. <laughs> so... Well, don't worry. At least I don't have a gun at my bum. Ah! Good morning, detective. Child, the text said to meet you here. Yeah, I don't think it said to barge in like you own the place. I got your text. <gasps> Where have you been all week? Has it been a week? Yes. Oh. And, hey, are you OK? No, fine, fine. Rough night, juice cleanse. So, what have we got, Booth? Booth? Yeah, it's the FBI agent on Burns. The TV show? Uh-huh. What's well, all 12 seasons? It's riveting stuff. It's like watching a documentary of us, actually. You're clearly booed. I'm Bones, obviously. Obviously. So why don't we do a little role play? Hmm? Okay. You be a randy single man, I'll be I'll be the new you. Okay, I've never once done that. My point exactly. Meet Lucinda. Well, come on. Gosh, this is gonna be harder than I thought. So romantic, the California coastline, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it really is. Speaking of, <clears throat> that beach day that you went on with Pierce, was it a date day? Um, it was just a regular day. Oh. Are you free to spend your, your spare time with whomever you choose? I mean, I'm not one for gorilla-sized ham hands or stale alcohol breath or, you know, just a general bloke, but I suppose there's no accounting for taste, is there? No. No, there's not. No. Also, I I'm surprised that you date someone so on in years. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, believe me, Pierce is uh, well, he's much older than he looks. And we all know that dating older men has its downsides, performance, stamina, you know, the important bits. OK, Lucifer. Well, I just hate to see you unsatisfied, that's all. Lucifer, I'm not discussing this with you, OK? OK. okay. Besides, Pierce and I, we're not even sleeping the You know, we're not. We're not, and never mind, and it's none of your business. So, how far are we? Are we there? Uh, nearly there. Okay. Right, whatever he says to you, just laugh. Mm -hmm. Hey there. What's your name? <laughs> Lucinda. <laughs> no, no, not like a demented witch on crack. 
Uh, for the record, Detective, I'd like you to note that I haven't once asked you about your evening with Pierce. I realize it's none of my business. You're right, it's not. But Miss Lopez thinks you boned. What? <clears throat> Her words, not mine. <sighs> I uh, simply thought you should know. Lucifer, this is a ruthless drug lord with who knows how many armed thugs. You can't just walk in there with your three-piece suit and say, hello, drug dealers. I would never do that. An young Mike Sang. <laughs> oh, just, don't worry, everyone. There's just a gun stashed inside the puppet. Lucifer, <laughs> the cut Right, down. right, yes. What is going on here? And how did you get that horse? What horse? Oh. Bye! What Maze needs is our help before she does any more damage. This isn't about help. This is about you being an overprotective mother. But, but we need to go to Canada now. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I can tell you're worried, and that's actually really endearing. But Dan's there. That's worse. Right now, Maze needs a different kind of help. With some strong drugs and a lobotomy. She needs us to trust her. <laughs> you're actually serious, aren't you? You're the one who said Maze can handle herself, and I think you're right. She trusts us enough to ask for help. We owe it to her to follow her lead. Oh, boy, unless this is about you being the overprotective mother. Oh, low blow, detective. Well? Beautiful. Oh, it's... What is it? <laughs> it's the bullet from when you shot me, remember, in the warehouse early in our partnership? Oh. Yeah. I remember. Well, I thought since I'd never likely penetrate you, I'd commemorate the one time you penetrated me. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, happy birthday, Detective. <laughs> <laughs>